Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I will give you a walkthrough of one of the machine of Bulhub and the name of the machine is the planet the earth. Okay, so in this machine I will try to um, take all the steps to get it compromised, it, what are the steps you have to take it. It looks like a medium type of machine itself where we are taking a different type of channel itself just to get the final flag. There is no different type of techniques we are using it but it's a simple type of clues on the base of the clues you have to get it solved this machine so let me go to the system now and get it solved this machine and this machine is released by Wallhub in um, I think on 2nd November 2021 so now we are solving this machine so before proceeding further in this video so first of all I will this is a one hub machine this time so uh, this is a URL from where you can get the OVA file of it and you can import it on your system and by that way uh, you can simulate the same attack whatever the steps I'm taking you can do the same thing on your system also so from here you can get the OVA file okay the second thing uh, I can say this is my technical blog where you can get all the write-ups from my site okay it's a written um, write-up I can say that and this is my technical channel where you can get all the walkthrough okay so these are the things which I just want to share it before proceeding further with this machine so now as I have already downloaded that OVA file I have already imported that also okay so that is done from my side once you uh, I'm using the VMware so you can use the same thing and uh, you can configure it according to your uh, system configuration I can say that if you have uh, less RAM like 8 GB RAM so you're supposed to give 1 GB or 2 GB to the uh, machine which you are importing on your system and accordingly you have to make it up uh, Kali Linux on such a way like a 4 GB something like that you have to give it to your system now what we have to do first so first of all you have to done you have to run the net discover i have already run it from my site i'll show you that uh, once you done uh, once you run this command net discover let me run that for you and uh, it will take a lot of time i will not do that once again so what i'll do i'll just import it and uh, change the nick configuration and make it at it's zero and uh, once i'm done with that then the same thing i've uh, in the same section itself i have to configure my nick card of my calling machine also and i'll run the net discover by the which way we just have to identify what are the other ip address belongs to the same section itself and we can able to identify so this is the ip address looks like of a target machine as it's in a same net no, and i can say that or i can say that in the same pool network so now what i'll do i'll just go to the next section for it next time and i'll simply run and map hyphen a and then simply run this and wait for the output for it so now we can see the output and uh, port 22, port 80 and 443 is enabled over here and instead of that uh, there are a couple of things which I just want to highlight over here. You can see there are two um, local host entry also we are supposed to do it from our side. So these are the host entry which we have to do it on our system. So that's also one of the things which we have to do it now. So we will proceed further now and uh, what we will supposed to do we will simply have to uh, or do the host entry from our site and this is the one which I am doing it okay once we done with that what we have to do now uh, we'll simply try to get it access uh, earth dot local uh, so you can see that couple of things over here itself and this is the stuff which you have to get it copy on your system okay which we supposed to use it later on now what we have to do next I'll simply clear this screen I'll run the dub and I'll just make it its earth dot local and let me run that so in fraction of seconds I think it will complete for us yeah this will be complete now we can see that it's a admin page let me copy it and go to the browser once again try to get it access and we can able oh sorry <laughs> I think this is the cache okay so by default we get this page okay we don't have any credential with us so far okay that was the reason we can't proceed further with that now what we have to do uh, i'll try for another one also let me try it's 192.168.8.128 no 131 sorry so we can able to see this a screen okay that's also another thing so what else we can do it now so what I'll do I'll just replace IP address with a host name it's 
that's perfect and i'll attempt for robots.txt so when we attempt for the robots.txt i can able to see this okay let me copy this i'll replace this okay and dot txt so we can able to see this content okay let me copy this paste it on next section okay over here you have to read the content you can able to see there is one of the file which is encrypted one okay this is uh, where we have the encrypted content and this is a username which is already we mentioned so just to get it access this portal i think uh, terra is the user but we have to look for the password also so that was one of the thing so now what we have to do i simply have to copy this name of the file and go to the browser and i'll paste it this over here and that's it so this is the content which we are looking for it so now what do we have to do the next step for it okay so now as we can able to understand it's look like like after uh, there are a lot of research from my side i just came to know like this looks like encrypted content so what i'll do i'll simply try to get it access this section ask it to hash uh, hex we have to get it convert so let me copy this content i'll paste it over here and over here it's ascii space is none and i'll try to get it convert it now so whatever the content you're getting it over here so that's one of the thing so before proceeding further with that what exactly is it like uh, there are um, one of the content which you can able to see it over here okay this one i'm talking about so you simply have to copy this is a xor one okay so what we have to do we'll simply have to copy that content which is present over there itself okay on the first screen i'll just copy that content the third one and in case of this section i'll select a hexadecimal now whatever the output i'm getting it over here i'll simply copy it and paste it over here i'll try to click on decrypt and i can able to get the output okay this is the output i'm getting it now what we have to do now again we have to go to the same section okay this time we are looking for uh, we are looking for hex to ascii okay so i'll try to get it access that and the same we are we are using it for the reverse one and but this time is ascii to hex okay so what i'll do i'll just simply copy this content over here paste it over here okay and now what we have to do we simply have to click on convert and i can able to see the content so over here you can see that it's a continuous uh, same word is repeated continuously so we'll not go for the same thing we'll simply copy the content so this is the content which i can see that uh, a single word and after that it's a same word repeated continuously so let me copy that and what we have to do we'll just go to the login page once again uh and over here we'll just put the terra and i'll put the password okay whatever the password getting it over there and we can get it inside of it so this is one other section for it now what we have to do we simply have to run this and i can able to see the content out of it so it looks like a command injection we can do it over here so before proceeding further with that what we have to do we'll just go to the uh, terminal once again i'll run this command as uh, if we are trying with a um, uh, single and a reverse shell by that way we are not getting that um, control directly so that was the reason i'm i'm just making the encoded format so that i can able to get it connected very easily uh, it's 9001 perfect now we'll just run this once we run with that what we have to do we'll just get the output and then what we have to do we'll just customize we'll just put in the command itself in such a way i'll show you that what we have to do okay so this is the one which we just uh, once we get it trigger it's a base 64 but the server is not able to access that so that was the reason in the command we had to mention the base 64 it's get automatically get it converted and uh, bash which we want to get it triggered it back okay so uh, i think everything is set we are listening and what we have to do we'll simply have to trigger it now once we triggered with that we can get the shell okay that is the first thing but now what we have to do we'll simply have to run the tty one liner just to get the shell name okay so we'll just get that now what we have to do we just figure out whatever the type of uh, rights privileges are we have it on our system so 
uh, what are the files is coming under that which we can utilize it and we can see a lot of things and out of that there is one other thing which we are looking for it okay and this is the one so now what we have to do we will simply trying to see the content of it so is there any uh, content in the context like uh, strings is anything hard code inside of it or not that we have to run it from our site and uh, we are not getting anything appropriate i can say that now what we have to do uh, we simply have to copy this file to our base machine okay so before proceeding further let me run this over here okay this is one and what we have to do we have to run the command at the target machine also so that um, we can copy the same file to our base machine okay this is the ip address those things you have to figure out from uh, your base machine host ip address you have to check it once you trigger with that you can able to see i have copied the file uh, i can able to check also yeah i can able to see that now we have to change the permission uh, to reset one okay once we done with that we have to run the l trace and it's reset this one okay so uh, i'll tell you like what exactly is it so these are the files required as a condition is required over there just to get it changed these are the permissions i can say that a uh, condition which is defined in that file to get it trigger so as per my understanding what we have to do we'll simply go back to our uh, shell We'll simply fire this command. Just create these uh, files inside of it. Okay, let me see that. I think it's better for us to go inside of that file. Okay, so let me go to that file section. Where exactly we have that file? It's user bin. So let me go to the user bin and what we have to do we'll simply create this file okay that's it once we done with that okay once i done with that what we have to do we'll simply run the reset file now so now what i'll do i'll simply run that reset root file reset root file reset underscore root file and once we run with that it's resetting the password to earth now what we have to do we will simply trying to switch from a uh, current user to the root and we are root now so what we have to do we'll just go inside of the oh sorry we'll just go inside of the root folder and we'll just see over here what the root flag yeah root flag is here we'll try to get it access that root flag and this is the content of root flag okay but there is one thing which i missed it earlier so that's also one of the thing which i want to explain it over here okay so we'll just go inside of there is a use user flag is also present so we'll just go to this section search for it yeah we can able to see the user flag also let me run that user flag and we can able to see the content of the user flag also okay so i'll give you the summary once again of the machine what exact steps you have to do it for this machine so we'll start with the end map uh, we simply have to import and everything you have to do it then after that you have to uh, end map and we just figure out port 22 uh, port 80 and 443 is running over there itself we'll try to get it access directly on a browser we'll just get some information about it some hashes in a azure format then after that we'll just uh, even we are doing some uh, host entry from our side and then we'll run with the dub we just came to know like there is an admin panel uh, then proceeding further with the same section uh, same section i can say that and by that way we try to get it um, uh, robots.txt we just get it um, we'll try to see the file which is coming in the disallow section we'll try to get access to the content out of it and it's showing some username as a terra and showing the file name also we'll try to get access to that and the content we are getting it which is in a format of ascii then we'll try to get it convert the ascii to the hex format that's a key and uh, whatever the zor content we are getting in our uh, initial phase of the um, when we're trying to get access to the uh, browser page then we'll try to get it access over the zor converter section we'll use the same key which we get converted with the um, ask you to the hacks and we'll get the content that content we have to use it in our uh, reverse section of uh, i can say that a hacks to the ascii and we'll just put that content 
once we get it converted we are getting a same word in a repetition format we'll just copy that uh, word and try to get it logged in the login page with the username and the password uh, username as a terra and the same password which we're getting it we'll try to get it logged inside of it once we get inside uh, we'll try to run it ls space hyphen l and by that way we get the output from the target machine and this is one other thing i can say that uh, we have identified it's a command injection over there we'll just trying to put our um, the one liner over there itself just to get the reverse shell of the target machine and we get that once we get that uh, reversal out of it then on the basis that we'll proceed further we'll just trying to see like what are the files is get integrated with that and the, the same permission which we have it for this machine and once we get it um, we just came to know about the reset file then we'll try to get it uh, run it from our side it's trying to see the strings inside of it there's no hardcore strings since just mention on it we'll try to get it copy on base machine and trace is one other thing which we are using it just to identify what other things is just get it uh, required for that as a permission for it or i can say that a conditions will define for that file once we're done with that we'll just try to make the same files present over there in that section itself trying to run the reset file once again uh, it's reset the password to earth we'll try to switch it from our username to that uh, now our username to the root and we'll just use the same password we can go inside of the root i can say that uh, uh, i'll be a root user and then we'll just go inside of the root folder and we can able to see the root flag and email later on with the user flag also that's all about the stuff which is want to get it covered in this video Thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to uh, comment me you can comment me in the comment section of this video if you like to connect me you can connect me directly on linkedin the linkedin profile link i'll provide in the description section of this video so thank you so much once again take care bye bye